planet Earth about to be recycled. Your only chance to survive or evacuate is to leave with us. Classroom, or in old language, a couple thousand years ago, disciples those who are trying to prepare themselves for entry into the evolutionary level above human with the kingdom of God with the kingdom of God we're going to talk to you about the most urgent thing that is on our mind and what we suspect is the most urgent thing on the minds of those who will connect with us we'll title this tape uh, planet Earth about to be recycled. Your only chance to evacuate is to leave with us. Planet Earth about to be recycled. Your only chance, Your only to, chance to survive, survive or, evacuate or evacuate is to leave, is to leave with us. With us. Now, that's pretty major statement, pretty bold in terms of religion, in terms of anybody's intelligent thinking. To most people who would consider themselves intelligent beings, they'd say, well, that's, that's absurd. What's all this doomsday stuff? What's all this prophetic stuff? You know, intelligent human beings should realize that everything has their cycle. They have their season. They have their beginning, they have their end, they have cycles. We're not saying that planet Earth is coming to an end. We're saying that planet Earth is about to be refurbished, spaded under, and have another chance to serve as a garden for another human civilization. Now, the reason this is such an interesting time is not only because we're on the threshold of the end of this civilization because it's about to be recycled but because of where that finds us where that finds you where that finds those who would judge us how we would speak of them and how they would speak of us now you say you keep saying us who do you think you are well I, in all honesty, must acknowledge my father. My father, my father is not a human, human father. father. My father, my father is, a is a member of the evolutionary, of the evolutionary level, level above human, the kingdom, the kingdom of, God, of God, the kingdom of heaven. My father gave me, long before this civilization, gave me birth into that kingdom level above human, that kingdom of heaven, that kingdom of God. Now you can say, well, I can't believe that. Well, it's up to you whether you believe that or not. That's not important to me, even though I wish that you could believe it for your sake. For those who do believe it stand a possibility of a future beyond this recycling time. Now you say, well, well according, according to religious, to religious literature, literature, I thought there was someone, someone else that was going to come and be our savior, our savior here at these end days. days. That, that, that was that going, was to, going be to be Christ's return. return. Well, well, the name, the name Christ, Christ might be a little, be a little confusing, confusing, or the name, or the name Jesus, Jesus, because the name Jesus, Jesus of, course, of, course, of, course, of course, was the name was given, given to the body, body that that mind that was indeed from the kingdom of heaven came and that mind was here 2,000 years ago, and that mind came for the express purpose of teaching humans how they could be saved, how they would not be plowed under at the end of the age. Well, we're at the end of the age. So the one or the mind that was in Jesus, what? That mind, that mind is in me, is in me. You'll have, to decide that You'll have to decide that for yourself. I must admit that I am here again, that I'm here saying exactly the same thing 
that I said then, trying to say it in today's language, trying to hope that for your sakes you can see what we have to offer you, for our Father offers you life. life, life, life. Not talking about human life. If planet is about to be recycled, and we see the planet as a stepping stone, Planet Earth, planet Earth, a stepping, a stepping stone. stone, 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 stone. That just as within a civilization, a civilization evolves upward, each segment of civilization becomes more civilized, less barbaric in some ways. It's supposed to, not that it necessarily does. Sometimes it seems to appear to be more civilized when in fact it becomes more, more barbaric. barbaric more quick to condemn the rest of the world, more quick to be, quick to kill the rest of the world that does not think as it thinks. Well, I know what I just said. I said that I am the return of the son of my father. I'll tell you something that's even more remarkable. My father came with me this time, came, came in the, the early, early 70s, 70s, took on a human form, an adult human form, helped me get in an adult human form in the early 70s, and we together helped those who came with us that were also here 2,000 years ago get in the bodies that they were wearing so that they could rid themselves of human behavior human activity, human thinking, so that they could be ready to move into the kingdom of heaven or the evolutionary level above human. These that are sitting before me have been students of T and Do, T, my father, have been students of T and Do, are still students of T and Do, even though T returned to the heavens in 1985. And, and T, T is, is my, my heavenly, heavenly father. father. Gave, Gave me birth into, into that, that kingdom before, before this, this civilization, civilization began. began. Now, I'm not here to sell you on that, or who I am, or who these are. I'm here to offer you, as these are, an opportunity to know no the truth, truth so, so that, that you, you can, can connect with it at any level then you might survive, survive the respading or the recycling that is about to occur. We made a tape just shortly ago, and in that tape we said that there are three types of individuals that will, that will survive, survive the recycling. One type of individual is those individuals that have overcome their humanness enough that when the end of this age is complete, when the war is over, the spading complete, there is nothing left here except for recycling. When the end of that occurs, then they have reached a condition of having overcome human behavior, human thinking, human desires, desiring only to be in the kingdom of heaven, in the evolutionary level above human, being servants in that kingdom. When they, when they have, have done, done that, that to the to degree the that they are a match for a physical body belonging to that kingdom. Because humans think that this is a flesh body world, and it is, it's a flesh body world, but it's more importantly a human flesh body world. The kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, the evolutionary level above human, is is also, also they have bodies, they have bodies. I wouldn't say I wouldn't flesh say bodies, flesh because bodies. it's because different characteristics. But it's a physical body, and it's equivalent for that evolutionary level to a human body. It doesn't need the kind of fuel that humans would need. It's not a mammalian body. It doesn't reproduce. It's not male nor female. It probably would look like what you might consider a very, a very attractive, attractive extraterrestrial. Now most of the illustrations of extraterrestrials these days have been 
grotesque. Looked like giant in insects or slimy, slimy reptilians, reptilians or reptilians. eyes so big that you could fall into them. And an extraterrestrial that we say is a genuine extraterrestrial is not a fallen angel, is not a space alien. We see fallen, we see angels, fallen angels, angels and space and aliens, space aliens as, as synonymous. As synonymous. Fallen angels, fallen angels and space, and aliens, space aliens, aliens as synonymous. And that the next level, the only real extraterrestrials, have a body similar to human body. Human body was taken after the same design, the same form, except a human body was more animal than that form. Human has hair, needs teeth, has uh, physical characteristics that are appropriate to this environment. When you go into, envi in, into an environment that does not need to eat things that you have to pull off the bone or crack the seeds off the nut, then certainly teeth are teeth not are needed. Not needed. Uh, uh, hair, hair is, is not, not needed. Not needed. You, a you, creature that looks very attractive but has two eyes, some remnant of a nose, some remnant of ears, what you would call remnant, even though they function very well as a nose, as ears, have a voice box but don't really need to use it because they communicate in thought. They communicate, they communicate with, their minds. with their, minds. their minds. And that's an extraterrestrial. That is the body belonging to a member of the evolutionary level above human, the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God. That can seem unattractive to you if you're really into flesh bodies. You know, there are sayings that there is seed of flesh, or there are things that are born of flesh, and then there are things that are born of spirit, or born of water is synonymous with being born of flesh. If people really understood the religious literature and could read it as it was intended to be read, they would know that it was written to describe that flesh, seed of flesh, was seed of the negative, the negative, the opposition, the opposition, the space aliens, the, space aliens, the fallen angels. Therefore, to the next level, human flesh is of the lower forces of the kingdom level beneath the kingdom of God, of the stepping stone that could lead to the kingdom of heaven. So flesh, or human flesh, now that isn't to put you down and to say you're all, if you're wearing a human vehicle. I'm wearing a human vehicle because I have to wear one for this task. I don't like it. It doesn't match me. And those who sit in front of me, they don't like their human vehicles that they have to wear for this task, but they have to wear them because the task of overcoming the human kingdom requires that they overcome flesh. The genetic, the genetic vibrations, vibrations, the lust, the lust of, of the flesh, flesh the, desire the desire to reproduce, the, the desire to cling to our offspring, spring, or our spouse, spouse, or parents, or, or money, or money, or, money, or job, or, or, or job, that could go on and on, or, that could go on and on, overcoming the human flesh and its desires, even its religious desires. There is not a religion on the face of the globe that is of God as it is today. All of those things that are called religions are ruined records of man's relationship with someone from the evolutionary level above human or the kingdom of God. In other words, there, it's like the religious literature is written as a time manual so that ancient religious literature was appropriate to that phase of civilization, less ancient literature was appropriate to that particular age. Then when someone came as a messiah, then that was appropriate to that time. 
What did the Lord that was here long before the Messiah came, the Lord said, I will send a Messiah, knowing that you will reach a condition, humans will reach a condition where they can move up into my kingdom, and I will send my Son as that Savior to help you know how to get out of the human kingdom. Well, well, that well, Savior well, came, well. that Messiah came, and he said, you know, I'll come again. And his Father sent him again. And yet, to say that is to be so blasphemous. In other words, what I say to you now is direct, present, current, transmission, information, information from the kingdom, from level above the human, kingdom level above human, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of heaven and of my Father. Christians say they're Christians, and yet Christians don't quote what Jesus said. Jesus said, if you want to know my Father, if you want to move in my Father's kingdom, then shed everything of this world, leave everything behind, and come and follow me. And unless you hate everything of this world, your sister, your, your mother, your brother, everything of this world, you will not know the kingdom of heaven. You have to graft to me. You have to cling to me. I will take you to my Father's house. And yet Christians world over quote Paul, who never sat with that representative, who was never a student of that representative. They say, oh, I love Jesus. He's in my Jesus heart. I'm filled with Jesus. Life. Jesus wants me to he live wants me to have riches. He wants me to have more children so that I can bring them up in the Christian family values. I don't remember Jesus ever saying that what I want you to do is go get married, have families, have children, and together bring all of them and I will take them into the kingdom of heaven. He only spoke to individuals that said the only way out of here is for you to know that as an individual that environment is not for you. That tie that binds you to the human kingdom is not for you. If you know it is not for you, then come to me and my Father will feed me information that can nourish you and help you overcome this world and will leave this world and will go to my Father's kingdom. Remember, we're not talking about a spiritual kingdom. No, no clouds, 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 no harps, no harps, 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 even though we are talking about in the heavens. But the heavens are no more spiritual than when you go out at night and look at the heavenly bodies and see them, they are there. They are physical. They even move in spacecrafts. Even my father's kingdom moves in spacecrafts. You could say, oh, my goodness, that's, that's, outrageous. that's outrageous. Well, you, well, don't, like you don't like the illustrations of chariot of fire. You don't like the illustrations that are in your religious literature that tells of spacecraft, spacecraft, spacecraft of my father's kingdom cloud of light they didn't know what else to call it even when they saw angels that they said had wings how else can they say they might have might as well said they fly that didn't necessarily mean they had feathers on their back it could mean that they came in a flying object and they came out of that flying object and that Jesus when they saw him ascend he went up into that cloud of light now I'm not trying to make a deal out of a piece of transportation. But a craft belonging to the level above human is much more than a piece of transportation. It is a workstation. It is a place of service to the level above, above human. human. These that are leaving this kingdom level to go with me to my father's kingdom, to my father's house, these will not go into houses on some planet like Earth and reproduce and have families and sit and watch television 
and make scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. They're going to be in service for whatever need the level above human, the kingdom of heaven, has for them. Has for them. And the tools, and the they, tools use, they, the use, the they use, the workstations that they use are spacecrafts, all sizes. Spacecrafts that are so small that a very small crew could fit in them because of the task that requires a small spacecraft. Spacecrafts that are so large you can't even see the outer extremities of them. They would look like something larger than a planet because the station requires that for whatever laboratory work or experimentation is going on, whatever their work is in that kingdom. How can they be effective servants in that kingdom if they're worried about their children or their dogs or their, dogs, or their horses or their, or their horses, cats or their cats or how much time or they how much time they have to put in at the rotary or different clubs or, different or, clubs or, organizations. or organizations as individuals they serve one individual and that is the in, the representative of that level that is their chief that is over them for their assigned task just as in the task that we're in now with this classroom, these look to me for everything. I look to my older member to fill me in on what their needs are and how I might be used to supply, to supply their needs. I'm not just talking about their physical needs, but their mental needs, how they can make their change from human into the kingdom level above human. Now, this is not to say that we know that there is a guarantee that we will all together go on board a craft in order to leave before the spading under occurs. We will go definitely on board a craft to leave when the spading occurs. You can say, well, what's the difference? Well, the difference well, is we the don't know if we're going to take these flesh, flesh, bodies flesh bodies on board that craft board or, that or if we'll craft, leave these flesh, we'll leave flesh, bodies, flesh behind. bodies behind. We don't believe that our Father's kingdom has much need for these flesh bodies, but it's possible that a spacecraft will come down and we'll walk on board that craft and they'll take these bodies from us and issue us the ones that belong to that level so that we might begin service. Or it is also possible that, that part, part of our test of faith is our hating this world, even our flesh body, enough to be willing to leave it without any proof other than what we have come to know that we have nothing to fear, that we are in good keeping, that we can leave the body that we're in, whether it's by martyrdom, because someone went crazy over our righteous blasphemy, or whatever might happen to the body that we wear and that we might lose it. We do know one thing, we don't care to cling to the life of this body until it naturally, naturally gives, up. gives up. We don't care to be aborted by the body that we're wearing. We care more to abort it in proof to our Heavenly Father that we're ready to leave this place. We're ready to go into your kingdom. And they, the students, have to say to my father, we trust, we trust your, son. your son. We trust the one you sent. Even so much that we have no hesitation to leave, to leave this, this place, place, to leave the body that we have. And we know that whatever happens to us after we leave, after we leave this, body, this body is a step, is a forward, step forward from what from we have and that we don't care to be here. Earlier in this tape, I spoke to you of three types of individuals that can be salvaged from this respading. One was, I mentioned, those that have overcome enough that they will get an issue of a physical body belonging to the next level and go into service as a crew member working for the next level. A second type, a second of, individual type of individual that, individual can, be that can be salvaged from, from this, planet, this planet, planet at this time. At this time are those who, are don't, those who quite don't quite reach that, point, that of point of overcoming when it is time, when it is time to, leave. to leave. 
but are still faithful to the best of their ability in their effort of breaking away and leaving their humanity and tr looking to us, looking to me, looking to my Father, looking to the next level to give them the strength and the understanding of how they can break away more quickly. So wherever they are, to the best of their capability at the time of our exit, whether it is not ready for issue of a next level body, they may have to experience a time in a civilization that is yet to come and do more overcoming of human kingdom, but they will be in the keeping of the kingdom level above human, just as these have been in the keeping of the kingdom level above human, not only here at this time in this generation with me and with T. With me and with T. That T isn't. That T isn't T's name, by the way. T's name, Do by isn't. the way. Do's name. Do isn't Do's name. I'm not even given to. I'm not even to given to under to tell you what my name is. Or T's name. T doesn't want you to know it. T doesn't want you to know it. Okay. I had to put that in there, but just so that you would understand. Okay, the second type of individual that can go into the kingdom of heaven is that one at the time that we leave has not completed that and therefore the next level brings them back when a civilization is at the point where they can move in and pick up where they left off and do more overcoming so that they will reach issue time by the end of the next civilization that they have overcoming to do in. The third type of soul or individual that can go to the kingdom of heaven now with us and be in the keeping of are those who even hear our voice right at the end or even receive this information and don't know where it's coming from in other words some might hear our voice and might know that where it is coming from might know that I exist in physical form here about to leave. Others might not know that I do, but they something tells them I've got to break away. I can't stand to stay here. I've got to go to that kingdom level. So that's three types that can go, that can be saved, that will not need to experience recycling. recycling. Even that faith that would have them willing to leave, desiring to leave, trusting in that information. Those who actually know me have more serious time of test than those who believe this information and don't know me. The lower forces, once you see me in this vehicle, the forces of Lucifer, of Satan, the lower forces of this planet, that run this planet, by the way, those forces would do anything they can to keep these from succeeding with their task, to keep, to keep number, number two, two example, example of those that, that can go, go from, from succeeding, succeeding in their, their task, task, and would do anything to keep even an initial believer from believing. Their whole effort, the lower forces' whole effort, is to have us not, not succeed, not succeed, succeed, succeed in leaving and being in the keeping of the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. So, here we are. We're coming public with this information that we're about to leave. And this is like putting ourselves right out on the playing field so that the lower forces have a chance to try to do to us what they can do to us. It also will have challenge all those who are religious minded to look at us and say, hmm, is that the truth or is that not the truth? Is that Antichrist or the spurious Messiah? Spurious Messiah is the term that some prominent, prominent television, 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 satellite, satellite um, Ministries, um, use ministries use in describing the Antichrist. Describing now, the Antichrist, the Antichrist, now, the Antichrist according to what the they say, to is what coming they say before is coming Christ before Christ comes. So, uh, that's, since he's not really on the scene, they say, then that means that Christ's second return has not really occurred. 
Well, I hate to tell you, but the Antichrist, the spurious Messiah, has been on the scene every since. My father and I left 2,000 years ago, and they have worked as hard as they could work through religions, through governments, through morality, of responsibility as human to brainwash humans to expect heaven on earth, not to look to go to the kingdom of heaven, but to look for a heaven on earth, to work toward the future, to be preoccupied with replicating or reproducing children and laying aside enough money to take care of those children so that they will have a future and they will have a future and they will have a future in what? The human kingdom. To the next level, the human kingdom is nothing but a stepping stone. Anyone who wants to stay in the human kingdom and make it some sort of divinity is looking to some spurious messiah, some antichrist. Now I know that those that are waiting for the spurious messiah, the antichrist, if they become aware of this tape and of Doe sitting here, saying what I'm saying now, they'll say, say that's the one. Because I warned I you warned that you the spurious you. messiah would say, I'll take you out of here. I'll rapture you into my Father's kingdom. And that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that if you can believe my Father's, my information, father's information, if you can if believe, you can believe, the, believe truth the truth that we, truth share, that we with you, share with you, and if and you believe it enough that you can put your trust in me, and that's a big dose. That's a difficult task to trust me. You do not know me well enough to trust me. I understand that. These know me. You don't know me. We have a website now. You know, it's the popular thing. Everybody has to have a website. We have a website on the Internet called Heaven's Gate. Heaven's Gate, of course, dot com. Everything is dot com. We're not dot org. We're dot com. So if you want to learn more about who we are, what we have to say, what I have to say, what my older member can share with you through what we have said and know of our history, we have nothing to hide. Even though to you we, we are, are a dangerous, a dangerous cult. Cult, 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 we understand that. Why dangerous? Because we threaten the family. We threaten the established norm of family values. If you knew Jesus 2,000 years ago, you would know that exactly the same thing occurred. And that the reason for getting rid of him was because if people really began to follow him to any significant degree, it's a political danger. It's against what the mainstream was teaching, what the norm was in the governments or the family, and certainly against the religion of that time. Religion today is an interesting thing because, because remember, remember how we said a moment ago that the religious, that the religious literature, literature like, the like the Bible, the Koran, the, Koran, the, Torah, the, the Torah, these are these time, are time manuals. manuals. These are in the time that something was written as the Lord or as God related to man, it was appropriate for them at that time. And yet we have the bulk of if not the vast majority of humans on the planet today who are very religious living exactly as they were trying to live some 5,000 5, years, years, years ago, some 4,000 years ago. They never made it to 2,000. 2,000 years ago was a chance to get out of here if you had listened to what the level, next level's representative had to say to you. But 2,000 years ago, that's a chance to get out of here, requires everything of you that you as an individual go join some call. That you leave, that you everything, leave behind. everything behind. Everything behind. That you ignore the members of your family. That you ignore the responsibility, you ignore the responsibility to, your community. to your community. That you ignore your career. And that hearts will be broken. 
I don't mean to make light of that, that hearts will be broken. I know that hearts are broken. I also know that anyone that leaves to go to my Father's kingdom, that any heart that is broken in the process of that transition can easily be more than healed if that heart looks to my Father for healing, looks to my Father for understanding, does not need to see this as a terrible experience. Many times the worst things in the human kingdom that can happen to us end up being the best things that can happen to us because we learn in-depth lessons because, because of those difficult times. Every life that was touched by these that are sitting in front of me, every life that was hurt or experienced pain by their leaving and becoming students of mine and of my father's was hurt, was hurt, severely, severely hurt. hurt. Some of them, Some of still, them hurt. still hurt. They hurt they because, because they choose, they choose to, still to still hurt. They could, they could actually, actually say, say, thank you, thank God, for the lesson that is mine to learn in this experience. And as far as that individual that I used to call my son or daughter or my husband or wife, I put them in your trust. I cannot tell them what they must do with their life. That is their decision. I cannot tell them what to do with their life. We cannot judge each other. I cannot judge you. I don't care to judge you. You will judge, you will judge yourself, yourself by what you by do. What